What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Dima Podcast. It's Mila. And it is Adisa. What's up, Amelia? What's up, gang? What's good, man? Wow, what a week. What a week. Happy 4th. Happy 4th to everybody that's celebrating. No one, because America's canceled. Honestly, America's in a weird little... No one's celebrating it. Yeah, I think everybody's like, I'm checked out. Yeah, we're we not should go back celebrating to Great Britain. Amer- <laughs> Seriously. Independence Day. <laughs> For a lot of people that don't know, 4th of July is when we celebrate our... Um, Declaration of Independence when we separated from Great Britain. Uh, it's a day where everybody comes together, shoots fireworks in the sky. Shoots, shoots each other. Shoots each depending other. Depending on where, depending. Part of the, what part of the region you're from. My friend who I, can't, I will not name uh, does, you know, is the local police department. And, you know, people call and complain about the fireworks more than ever. And I'm like, and I don't think they're fireworks. They're really just gunshots. <laughs> no, real talk. You know, yeah. a lot of people, that's a time where a lot of, be safe when you're going out, you know, even fireworks, they're very, very dangerous. A lot of people get their hands blown off and just, that's why I'm good. Like, I why just, do they do them on the streets? Because where else are you going to do them? Over the water, like you're supposed to, because it's fire. Oh, you're right. Like legally. Yes. Are they even legal? They're not they're legal even, to do them yourself. Yeah, you can't do them uh, like they're, but what's weird, you find... It's illegal to do it, but they can sell them everywhere. You know those little yeah. white little shacks that they build all over cities? Yeah. Have you seen them before? They're no. outside 7-Elevens. Like right now, I just passed by like four of them. They are, they'll pop up near 4th of July where they'll go and there'll be distributors where you can go and buy fireworks. No way. Yeah, like right here by the by our the street where we're at, there's a, a white... They build this little white fort yeah. and there's someone just well, I don't slinging know. and dangin'. Slinging. I, I don't think fireworks are illegal, but doing them in a certain area, yep. like, like in the middle of the street city. in a residential area is probably not Yeah, safe. like there, it's banned over here yeah. where we're at right now. Like yeah. you can't do them, but people still do, you know? Oakland definitely does, yeah. Oakland definitely does Alameda and people are really... Does. People are getting <laughs> blammer down. Damn, dude. Because how... I mean, it's easily... It's hard to distinguish what a gunshot is and what a firework is. Yeah. So if you're just a murderer... Fourth of July is your favorite holiday. Or Halloween. Or Halloween. <laughs> Masked up. Halloween's actually my favorite holiday. I love Halloween so much because it's a time where you could just F off, wear funny shit, meet with your friends, yeah. do seances and devil shit. Check out our, you know, just a little Masonic um, Ouija, boards. Ouija boards. Check out our Halloween episode from last year. That's my fire. favorite episode of all time till this day. Yeah, and we're going to do it again this year. Yep. It's going to be wild. We, like, really came out. But, you know, it's wild. Speaking of just, I don't know why my mind went to horror. I really, I watched a really good movie recently. Shouts it off. My sister's told me to watch. It's called Fatal. Life is a road straight and narrow. Stay on the road. And it will take you safely home. But make a wrong turn. And you will meet the darkness. What was that? It, it's about so. Spoiler alert! I'm gonna talk about it because I I wanted Sounds to talk about deadly. it. It's wild. It's Michael it, Ely's it'll. very attractive ass uh-huh. and um, that really amazing uh, actress. I forgot her name. Better respect She's it. She's from Freedom Riders. Freedom the Riders. The teacher. Nope. Oh, wait, now I have to look at Not even here yet. What? You don't what watch is, Freedom Riders? What is Freedom Riders? Bro, what? You never watched that movie? Never. You're kidding. Is it like a classic? Are you kidding? It's like f- historic. Really? Hilary Swank. Hilary okay, Swank. Yeah. I've heard that name before. You know her, bro? This one. I see. Her. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I know her. She's okay. from Freedom Riders. <laughs> Shut the hell up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyways, um, it's on HBO Max, hella good, but it's like wild because so she, it's about this r- husband and wife. He cheats on his wife with this girl uh-huh. and um, in Vegas because what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And yep. he was, to his defense, which there's no defense in the situation, right, if it's infidelity, but he basically, um, they were like in an un- awkward stage in their marriage where they were very disconnected. And so in Vegas, he like showed out with, he was there for a bachelor party and then like he was like, like cheated on his wife one night stand. He moves, and he's, like, like millionaire, well off. He's, like, the head of something. And, like, so they live in the L.A. Hills, gorgeous. And so they get a raw one night. He goes home. He's, like, obviously regretting it, whatever. They're sleeping, and someone breaks into their house. And so, like, he obviously jumps in, the wife, and whatever, and, like, they, they kill him. The detective comes. Cops come. The girl he slept with is the detective. Wait, 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 wait. So, bro, Michael Ely kills the dude that broke in broke their into house? Broke their house, Yeah. And then the I'm dis- so sorry. No, no, no. Doesn't kill the dude. Okay. The guy gets away. He like okay. beats him up, but the guy gets away. Okay. So they call the cops and some. They're like, oh, this is a, like an investigation. Detective's coming. The detective is the girl he cheated on his wife with. 
Okay. And so then shit gets weird. Okay, what happens? Okay, right? so should I just kill it? <laughs> yes, yeah, spoiler alert. It. I don't okay. give a damn about our audience. Come to find... No, so kidding. the detective, like, obviously was like he lied and said what his name was or whatever so they see each other and it's weird so she like takes the wife starts talking to the wife starts investigating and he's hella uncomfortable and he like goes and sees her and he goes dude what happened in vegas state in vegas i'm sorry i'm married whatever and so um she's investigating come to find out that his best friend that he went to the bachelor party for is cheating is the why his wife is cheating on him with the best friend and the investigator found that out and showed him because they're trying they were trying to get him killed because they're trying to steal his money because he's hella well off and he's like a partner of the Hold company. Hold up, bro. You're going a hundred miles that, an hour, bro. Time out. So basically <laughs> he okay, so uh, the dude runs away, the girl is a detective, starts investigating the mm -hmm. scene. They have a moment where they're aside and he's like, Hey, what happened in Vegas? I'm yeah. sorry, I'm married. And she's like, and It's strictly business, and don't she's worry. Like, it's fine, whatever. But she's like, I have she's something pissed, to tell though. you. Yeah, no, she calls him one day and she goes, I'm investigating, but look what I found. She goes like to their other beach house and he has like binoculars and he looks and it's his wife and that his best friend who that's oh. his business partner, and they're like hooking up. And she was like, they framed you. They tried to kill you. The, they hired the person to kill you, which is why your wife didn't call 911 or try to come help you when you were fighting the, the guy. The dude that broke in yeah. to their house we're was there to, to try to off, yes, bro? Yes, And oh. it's one of those movies where it gets creepier. And every story, like the storyline keeps getting like, whoa, whoa, each time. Because... So the, the, the detective has, like, this whole backstory of, like, being an alcoholic. And she was an alcoholic one day and came home drunk and left her gun on the table. And, like, her daughter shot herself, like, on accident, her young daughter. So the husband took full custody of the kid, and she's trying to get her kid back. So she, like, f she go he goes – okay, fast forward. Okay, okay? that's okay. her side story. Okay, okay. Fast forward, Michael Ely, the husband, shows up one day drunk and, like, confronts the best friend and the husband Good. and walks in on them. At the beach house and then like throws the ring and whatever leaves that same night both those people get shot he didn't shoot them though the detective did and framed him and she goes but here's how i'll get you out of it because i'm a detective you need to go kill the father of my daughter so i could get my daughter back so wait, she wait. like orchestrated everything it was it's a lot hold on bro so wait did he <laughs> ask for them to get blammered Michael Ely? No, he no. He just showed up just drunk it? one night. It was the perfect timing. He showed up drunk one night and then, like, threw his ring at her and, like, like went off and then left. That same night after he showed up, the they were both shot in? dead. It doesn't show her shooting them, but she did it. She uh -huh. did it. And then it got blamed on him because he, they were like, oh, you were there. You were the last one. That and she goes, but I'm a detective. I can get you out of this. But you need to go kill my yeah. husband because yeah. I want my daughter. Yeah. So, like, the guy has no choice because, like, he's stuck and he's, like, going to get f framed for murder. But, like obviously didn't do it it just keeps like at the end of it he like frames the detective kills the detective and like he kills the detective yeah because she he gets he goes and kills her husband he has no choice but on accident because he went to go tell her and then tell him and the husband was like no like um what are you doing he like attacked him so they started fighting and he accidentally shot him he didn't go to kill him he accidentally shot him so he goes back and goes i killed him here's what you wanted like he like she wanted something and he and she goes okay thank you like you're free i got it from here here's the gun the weapon and then um he's like walking off and like she he turns around and sees her pull the gun out and try to shoot him and, but he shoots her first because he, he she was gonna kill him anyway because she knew he was gonna go yeah snitch. cut ties so he shot her anyway and then they both <laughs> shoot each other but he makes it at the end what the it was a thriller. Happening. It was a thriller. You guys should watch it, even though I just killed it for you. But it was a great Bro, movie. You know what's crazy about that whole situation? I'm sure, aside from like the dramatic, like, oh, you need to go kill this, like the infidelity part scares the f out of me. Bro, like it was just a circle of like, you killed him, I killed him, you, I kill, I won't kill him, or I won't tell you. And it all started with just him cheating. But then if he wouldn't have cheated, he would have never known his wife was cheating and they were going to kill him anyway. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, but the yeah. thing is, that's the whole thing because then you don't have any like... And you know who persuaded him to cheat? His best friend. It was his bachelor party. What a he made him. He goes, go cheat on your wife. Like, you're unhappy, blah, blah, blah. So he pushed him to cheat that night. But he pushed him to the wrong bitch. <laughs> to the wrong detective. <laughs> Bro, wow. How sus is it that that is actually... See, that's why I'm... Gotta be optimistic. Sometimes you gotta watch your circle, cause yeah, that is crazy. Bro, it was his business you, partner of like years, best friend. Like, that happens, bro. Like I don't. Aside from family, bro, a lot of the family. times they don't owe you shit. Yeah, right. It's Loyalty so is very difficult to come by. I've so I've learned as I'm growing older. Yep. Like people like don't have to be loyal to you, and sometimes you can think someone's so close to you, but in all reality doesn't really mean anything especially with business like when you're 
literally handing off like the keys to like your entire corp like business you know the ins and outs what's coming in what's going out right like if you're sharing that with someone even like when you're working with people it's so like you have to know what you're who you, but to give access since to the dawn of because time, they see yeah dawn of time though people are gonna do weird shit for money of course but like money ruins everything but do yo girl no his or best for, friend like if I don't know, bro. Yeah. And then he his can't wife. really say anything because he cheated also. Mm -hmm. So he can't be like, yeah. go up to him and be like, why are you cheating on yeah. me? Because she knows that you cheated on her. Mm -hmm. That it is was twisted. Sus. And then you think, okay, it's just a cheating scandal. Then the whole time the detective has her own motive and she's like, this is a perfect opportunity for me to get what I need because she was trying to get her daughter back and she was in court battles. Um, and she had gone and got sober and like was clean or whatever. But the husband was like, "You are not coming near my family." Like, I'm gonna be real. So with that you. poor guy died too. Yeah, they're all dead. Yeah. I mean, Except karma. Michael Ely. But you know what's crazy? <laughs> His wife is Afghan in real life, and she's a real one. She's great like taste. kind of like closely related to people that we know. Oh, really? He's Too a great actor. That's wild. He's wet and he has green eyes. Yeah, he's dope. We love but that. But what's crazy is that show goes to show like you really don't know who you're meeting or marrying or marrying. Bro, dead ass, like, the reason what deterred me from, like, um, so obviously I've dated in the past and stuff, and um, I was open to connecting with people, but I've always in the back of my mind realized, like, at the end of the day, you're meeting someone you have no clue about. That's really like, weird. even on one night stands when you go to the club and shit, that's why I'm, like, all, I have never, I can be real with you, I've never been to out to a club or something, pulled a girl, went home with her, yeah. you know, whatever, because I'm, like, dude, at that the end I of the day. That I don't understand. Me neither. I never I'm, like, aren't you that. sussed out? No, like, that's what I'm saying, and I know it's so common for people, it's so, these are straight strangers, and the thing is that, like, yeah, they're people, but people are freaking weird. 100%. People are, not only are they weird, they're, like, sketch and like psycho and like sick yeah so you're literally going home with a stranger i never understood that like for me i had to have like background evidence on some detective shit on you like if yeah. you know this person and this person trusts and knows you knows your friend group and shit like that i would be okay to having a conversation with you and yeah. going from there but meeting a random and like taking them home and just like hello yeah and then, yeah, that's nothing like to your personal home or your like that's private what place. I don't understand. Now they know where you live. Yep. Yeah, that's that's sketch. That's again, scary. like there's see, like I'm totally good with like dating apps, like shit like that, because then you have the opportunity to build on connections, build on relationships, kind of figure out the ins and outs. No, of who but this a lot of people is. also just do like one night stands through that, like hookups. That's what it's mainly for. Is it really? Yeah, dead ass. Like, well, I, I know to, Tinder like, go on the first date in like a public place and like meet them there. That's what it's made for, yeah. right? But then a lot of people are just like, it, let me just date around. I'm sure yeah. you'd be be able to tell who's like wanting to yeah, just. Yeah, yeah right off the beginning i feel like there's there are certain apps that will give you more so like hookup i think it was bumble mm -hmm. what is that what's another one um tinder i know you tinder, said? tinder I know is definitely tinder like is a like hookup a classic hookup yeah bumble uh, was app. one too for sure because the people are so aggressive and then yeah there's different oh, ones. i do know what bumble is bumble is the one where um the girls, girl talks first girl yeah. talks first which yeah. is way better is it really i think right because you just don't get have a girl reach out to you first is you, that like okay? I mean, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, okay. If it's not on the app though, because on the app they kind of have to. That's what if what a girl saying. slides in your DM? Are you like? I'm cool Whoa? with that. Nah, no, I'm okay. totally good with that. I mean, if a girl slides in the DMs, right? Which a lot of girls probably don't do, and it's probably no, taboo. No girl does. Yeah. yeah. But I would think, oh, this girl's interested, whatever. Because I think there is a common misconception when it comes to dating, where a lot of men see. For me, I'm a confident guy, right? I don't really give a. <laughs> The worst thing that I can have it. You also don't have DMs for anyone to slide into. Exactly. <laughs> I don't have Instagram or anything. But had I, if I did, I wouldn't be like, like this with messaging a girl or talking to a girl, which I'm not a DM slider. I always find that kind of weird. I'd rather talk to you in person right then, then and there. how do you get that info? Like you have to, I know a lot of successful people through DMs who 100%. have like met relation, have no, relationships. 100%. Yeah. A lot of relationships. I, so my fiance, I knew her from way back when, but how we reconnected was through Instagram, Instagram mm -hmm. right? But I've met her in person for the first time way before that. But yeah, for yeah. me, I always like the, approach like let me go talk to you and make you laugh and like
be witty and shit like that. Yeah. And then like that's seal good the though because you have that confidence. A lot of men can't do that. They, they can't, can't like in person. But I don't. I've never understood that. Even with some of my homies, I'm like, bro, what's the worst that can happen out of this situation? But then again, knock on wood, bro. I haven't really struck out. Yeah. You feel me? If I if I've been rejected multiple times, and I'm not yeah. saying this in a cocky way, I'm just saying it probably would hurt my self esteem to there a point a where I'd be here. like. I feel like you know th things are. I'm definitely much better in person too. I feel yeah. like I, I talking is so much more personable, and you can feel out the energy more, and you can kind of vibe out or like make a joke, and like if it's awkward. I personally hate um, small talk and mm -hmm. like texting and DMing and stuff. So like in person is definitely, but it's harder now. Like I said, people are creeps and like strangers. But right then and there in person, you'd be able to tell, is this person yeah. a serial killer? <laughs> no, not at all. You think so? Not at all. A lot of people are maybe, people what are, are they are called? So um, what's that word where, pe sociopaths. Sociopaths, yeah. And I actually, we did an episode on this, like a psychopath and a sociopath, yeah. the difference between the, difference the two. Because one is like premeditated yep. and then one, yeah. So, um, in per like I, that goes back right like you don't know what you're getting or who you're getting even like five six eight months in bro mm -hmm. what four years in yep people change, change. and into, it's scary and they go back into their real and then they put, set a, set you up for murder because they want your company and your money <laughs> and they want to snatch your girl next thing you know it's fourth of july that's dude you know in all honesty if you guys go out in fourth of july weekend and you meet someone that you're really vibing with you know Get it. Ask them for do you know, it during you fireworks, do, honest, gunshots. <laughs> honestly, yeah. but background check. Yeah. Hey, you want to sign this real quick so we can run a background check? Yeah, imagine. I think we have to at this point because a lot of people end up with people that end up ruining their lives. And I feel like you can get in a situation that can potentially change your life. It doesn't even have to be like an STD or something. Yeah. That can change oh, your people life. People don't care about that either. <laughs> oh, I saw that on I podcast channels. They're like, yeah. Tones. Uh, it was no jumper. They're like, yeah, you just get a sh get gonorrhea. You get a shot for yeah, it. Yeah, I saw that. Like, what? What are you talking about? Sounds brother? good. Got it. I'm out. Got it. Where can they find us? <laughs> YouTube.com slash Adima Podcast TDP. We out. We out.